Peace. Hey yo, so today I'm here with your boy Ruga Love Money. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to give y'all some love money. You understand know what I'm saying? I mean it's coming from the heart. Money isn't always just these big blue faces. You know what I'm saying? Money could be um good money at the gym. Money could be knowledge. That's the best type of money. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give y'all some knowledge or some money y'all could go out there with. You know what I'm saying? And I'm giving it to you from the heart. You know what I'm saying? So that's love money. Now, the reason for making this video is because sometimes we hear about a lot of new coins <clears throat> coming out or just came out and they're bubbling, they're going crazy. All your boys is on them. And you don't know where to find these coins. You go to Google, you can't find them on any exchanges, right? So they're not on Bitmart. They're not on KuCoin. They're not on Coinbase yet. They're not on Crypto.com yet. You know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, you can find these coins on pancake swap or uniswap or quick swap you know what i'm saying pancake swap is for the binary smart chain uniswap is for the ethereum smart chain and quick swap is for the polygon smart chain right now i'm gonna share my screen with y'all show y'all what i got going on right so now this is for the people that have crypto.com or coinbase or they have somewhere where they could buy their um they have somewhere where they could buy their crypto and they could send their crypto. All right. If you want to get set up to buy these other coins, right? Like these new coins I'm talking about. First thing you got to do is you got to get a MetaMask, right? Now you either have to get Google Chrome. I like to use the Brave Wallet, but just to keep it simple, we're going to show you a Google Chrome, right? So when you add this, right? Go to this website right here. Just go to Google, type in add MetaMask to Chrome. Boom, click MetaMask, right? As you can see, I added it. But all you do is you add it to here, and now it'll pop up here, right? Boom. Now you can go open up your MetaMask, right? Press Get Started. Now, if you don't got a wallet, you go to Create Wallet. I'm just going to show you a free phrase, a secret phrase. You're going to need that to import your wallet anytime you need to log in somewhere, right? So for me, I already have a wallet, of course, but not on this computer. So what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> by typing my phrase real quick. Right. And once you do that, import and boom, you're in your wallet, right? All done. Boom. Right, so here's my Ethereum. Now, when you um, even if you have it set up on your phone, which you can, whenever you log into it, type in that C phrase, you only have your Ethereum main network. You understand what I'm saying? So let's go back home, right? And you probably lose all your coins and probably have to import all these um coins again, right? So the next step we need to do is we only have the ethereum mainnet here and the coin that we're trying to buy is on the binance smart chain right meaning we need pancake swap to buy it right so what we have to do is we have to add the binance smart chain here okay to do that we go back to google right what we gotta do is add bsc to metamask right and once we do that, you 
right? So you look for the main net, okay? Now, one of these places, right, they should have it for you, right? So you get this RPC URL, right? Copy that. <clears throat> come back to main, net, come to um, MetaMask, add network. Once we add that URL in here. Right. Well, I should have worked, but I think I left the backslash out. All right. All right, so we put finance, smart chain, All right? Chain ID was fifty six. Should be able to save that. How to start acting weird if you don't put everything in. So let's put this in right here. You've seen it popped up as ETH before. It's supposed to pop as BNB. So we can get this 56 smart chain, BNB, right? BSC scan. So let's bring it back here. We'll add that. B and B, right? We save that, right? Everything should be sturdy, right? And close that out, and bong, B and B pops up right here, right? Now. So this MetaMask is an extension, right? We could just type in wherever we're trying to go. So for this example, we want a pancake swap. Uh, finance. Um, now we're here. Now that you added the networks, you should be able to switch between the two networks. Boom, Binance Smart Chain, right? Connect your wallet, connect to MetaMask. It's gonna ask you to approve something right here. You connect it, now you're in here, boom. So we go to trade, right? And the coin we're looking for Today is called, well, first thing we're going to do, go to CoinMarketCap, right? <clears throat> and mind you, I bought a coin the other day, just came out a few days ago. It's called Zelda Inu. Now, usually they wouldn't be listed up here as early, but this one is a little different. 
So since it's listed here, what we could do is we can add to MetaMask. That's simple, right? Now, once we add this token to our MetaMask, we go back here, it'll pop up. So I already had all of this in my wallet. All I had to do is add the coin back and my balance popped back up. It never went anywhere. So let me go to Pancake Swap. Go there, it's not even there yet. So in order to get it there, we copy the address here, right? We bring it back here. Once we paste it, Zelda will pop up. Now we can import it here. I'm gonna make sure you have the correct address because there's a lot of scammers out there that scam you right about your brat. All right, so boom. Now, the next step is, right? Before you get here, before you even get any BNB here, you need to send it here, right? So this is your address right here. Now, if you're sending it to the Ethereum mainnet, you copy the address from the Ethereum mainnet. But since we're sending it to the Binance Smart Chain, we need to get some BNB in here so we can swap over and get some of these new coins. All we do is we go to the BNB Smart Chain, we copy this address here, right? And then you go to crypto.com or whatever exchange you're using. I would highly suggest using crypto.com because if you were to send through the Ethereum mainnet, you send BNB over here, you would have to go and bridge it to the Binance Smart Chain in order to get your assets over here. So in order to avoid that, what I would do is send it straight from a place that's compatible with the Binance Smart Chain, which is crypto.com for me. So what I would do, I'll go there, buy USD coin or buy BNB with my credit card, debit card, and then I'll send it, withdraw it through the Binance Smart Chain. So I'll select BSC, or you could do BEP. I'm not sure if it really makes a difference, but I do BSC because it's on the Binance Smart Chain. And I copy this address here from the Binance Smart Chain and it'll send it straight to my account and it'll pop up here just like this, right? Now, the next coin we were looking for, right? So I can show you how to swap today. It's called This is my brother, RHT, right? It's a coin that's connected to a battle royal, battle royale, um, play to earn crypto project, right? So we're gonna look up RHT, right? Reward Hunters token. Now, this is it. It's down today, and it's a great time to buy in. You always wanna buy something on sale. So, the same way we did it before, we're gonna copy this address here. We're gonna go to Pancake Swap. Paste it, and it pops up. We'll import the token just like that. Okay, now it pops up. There we go. Okay, now go back to Reward Hunters. We'll add it to MetaMask because we know we want some add token, right? Now you go here, it pops right up. Boom. Now we want to get some of this token, right? You go to BNB. But if you um look how much BNB I got left. Max. I only got seven dollars in BNB. Now, when you're on these smart chains, we're on the we're on, or you on these um blockchains, you gotta have transaction fee money or gas fee money. So that seven dollars isn't probably gonna last me too long. So I'm gonna need to hold on to this amount of BNB, right? But essentially you would have BNB once you sent the money over here, right? So you'll be able to swap. And the swapping works for the same for all coins. So for me, I'm going to swap some of this Delta out, right? And I know that 18,000 Zelda is $500, understand? So let me see what it would take for me to send about $60 to this new coin, right? So let's try 1900. It's 53. 
$2,200, right? Now, I know that's $61 in cash from Zelda. So, what I would do, go to RHT, right? Just getting out the top coin is just whatever you're swapping it from, and the bottom coin is what you're swapping it to, right? So, that's what I just did by typing in the USDT at the bottom, which is a stable coin, which is equivalent to the US dollar. I know that this is about $60 worth of Zelda that I typed in right here. So I leave that number the same, 2200 and I'll come to RTH. You can do the same thing with BNB. So you, you put BNB at top, put USDT on the bottom, and that's what will tell you how much worth of BNB you're sending, right? So I'm sending 2200 Zelda over to um, RTH, right? RHT, excuse me. That's all I do right there. Boom. Now I do swap. Confirm swap. Right? When this ear pops up, it's insufficient output amount. Sometimes we have to change the slippage tolerance. Right? Whenever you see something like that. Same thing, right? Now, with these newer coins, sometimes you got to raise the slippage tolerance. And I'm going to try 10%. Okay, let's see if that goes through. All right. I bought the ZLDA, right? When I bought the Zelda, I had to change my slippers to 30%. So I'll try that here. All right. And now you see I changed the slippers a few times. Now it's finally let me go through. Then I confirm. It says, after I confirmed it, it asked me if I want to add RHT to MetaMask. I already have it, so I'm going to say no. And now, right here, I can put an RHT, right? Slippage, I was supposed to get 1,289 coins. I ended up getting 10,000, and that's because of the slippage. So it is what it is. You lose some, you win some. We're getting in super early in the start of this new metaverse game, right? And when I do that, max is 48. So I lost about $12 because of the slippage that I had to... um. I had to actually change just to get in. So you don't want to do too many transactions. You want to make sure when you're doing it, you're doing it one time. You don't want to pay too much, pay too much extra money in that slippage. Now, that's that. You know what I'm saying? You want to swap it back. That's all you got to do. Same thing. And, um, yeah, that's it. So real quick, some of the other things you're going to add to your MetaMask, you probably want to add the Polygon Smart Chain. Not the Polygon Smart Chain, the Polygon Mainnet, right? So Google, right? And you go to add Matic, because Polygon and Matic is the same thing. Add Matic Mainnet to MetaMask. Right, boom. Okay, this is Polygon Developer. Polygon main is open for developers. Boom. You want to make sure you have um, an official source that you're going to, right? Because they might give you the wrong information and steal all your stuff. Who knows? Um, can't conf can't copy and paste right there. So we go here, right? On your phone, you could probably just put in this R RPC code and it'll pop right up for you. So I always start with that, right? Boom, here we go, add network, young. Boom, I'm adding that. And for the network name, we had Polygon Mainnet. 
we had one three seven. Then this, the um, symbol is Matic and PolygonScan.com. So let's just remember one three seven, Polygon Mainnet and Matic, right? So we come here, paste that network name is Polygon. Main at one three seven and Matic. So you add this network, got a whole nother network. Boom. We on Matic now. You understand what I'm saying? I'm gonna show you all the other exchanges. So now for Matic, you have quick swap. Change. Is that it? All right, so now we're on the QuickSwap interface. You connect the wallet, MetaMask. Now you can't connect to QuickSwap if you're not on the Polygon mainnet. Just like you can't connect to a Pancake Swap is asking me to switch my network to BNB to the Binance Smart Chain, right? No, we're on QuickSwap now. I'm not worry about Pancake Swap. So do cancel, right? And now this is how you interact with Matic. So I gave y'all two coins that I bought on PancakeSwap. DG is a coin that I recently bought Decentral Games, right? I'm not sure if I added this to my MetaMask, but whatever, right? This is a coin I recently bought on the Polygon mainnet, right? So if I'm not mistaken, they have all the assets for Decentraland or all the games for Decentraland. And I'll check how much I got in here. All right. So that's what that's worth right now. Boom. One more. I'm going to go to Uniswap. Not Uniswap. Uniswap now, it's actually a um exchange where you could swap between the Ethereum and the Polygon and the um Binance Smart Chain networks. So Sushi Swap is actually allocated just to Ethereum, right? So you enter this app. You probably won't be able to enter it unless you're on the Ethereum main network. All right, so we're trying to connect. All right. Let's get these apps mixed up. <laughs> All right, let's go to Uniswap. Okay, now Uniswap is actually the one. All right, that's how you interact with these ones. Uniswap, you got Sushi Swap, Quick Swap, Pancake Swap. You can't interact with all of them with all the same main networks. So that's what we got going on. I hope this video actually helps you guys learn something today. And if it didn't, then shit, hit me up. Teach me something. Um, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, my YouTube, it's all Ruga Love Money. That's R U G A 
L O V E M O N E Y. Ruga Love Money. Hit me up. Tap in with me. I got a Discord community. I just started not too long ago. Uh, I have a Patreon that you could um, get connected with. I'm actually going to leave those links in the bio. Um, if you need a crypto.com or you need a Coinbase or anything like that, KuCoin, I'm going to leave all of those links in my link tree in the bio. Right? You can tap right in with me. I also have a um, I have an ebook store, right? That link is also going to be in my bio. It's all self development ebooks and business and finance ebooks. They're all under ten dollars, so feel free to indulge, get your money up. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, that's it, man. Love money, peace.